Ladies and gentlemen, imagine my surprise when I found this in my mailbox. The normal operating procedure is for a manufacturer to contact me and ask if I will review a product for them. And if I agree, they send it to me. However, a lot of times, especially if it is a ham radio, I just say no. But this one just showed up. So now I guess I have no choice. So here we are. Even though this is a Max Talker brand radio, it was shipped to me at no cost from the Boofwang Direct Marketing Company. So I do not know what the relationship is between the Boofwang Marketing Corporation of Pyongyang and Max Talker, but there does seem to be a relationship. Anyway, prepare yourself to be enlightened by a beautiful, flowing, golden shower of information about this radio. But bear in mind that I get to be the one standing up. The Max Talker TKW70 is a new radio just released a month or so ago, and the price for this radio is about $60 of monies. Affiliate link below. And before we begin, I would like to point out that the box has some Chinapanese writing on it. I do not know what it says, but I am sure that it is very impotent. So I will leave it up to the viewers to decipher what this says and leave a comment to enlighten us all. Anyway, when you purchase this radio in the box, you will receive a user manual written in decent Chinglish and a total of only seven pages long, of which only two pages are dedicated to actually explaining the controls of the radio or what it can do. But if I'm being honest, I was able to learn everything I needed to know about how to use this radio by reading these few succinct pages. If you are new to the exciting and dynamic world of two-way radios and you are just learning things, this could be a big issue. However, if you are a licensed and certified ham radio operator, then you should never even need to use a user manual. After all, you passed a 35 question multiple choice test, so you have already proven to everyone that you know everything. You will receive a belt clip, and as you can see, it is very, very wide, much wider than the average belt clip. One might say that it has very much girth. So when you wear this radio on your belt at the mall, it will really, really impress the chicks because everyone knows that girth is what really matters. You will receive this very handsome wrist strap for affixing the radio to any appendage upon your body of your choosing. You will receive the obligatory piece of junk headset, earpiece, press to talk button thingy that will probably fall apart the first time that you ever use it. You will receive a charging cable. One end of the cable goes into the radio, the other end plugs into your computing device in order to use the optional programming software, of which I will discuss more momentarily. You will receive a battery charger, the new style, which plugs directly into the holes of your walls without the need of any charging brick. And you may note a sticker that says, no transmit while charging. That is actually something that a lot of people ask. That question being, can you transmit on the radio or have it turned on whilst charging? My friend, there is your answer right there. You will receive a battery, a battery that holds 2100 miller amp hours. You will receive an antenna of the floppy variety, and you will receive the Max Talker TKW70 handheld walkie-talkie radio. One thing that I would like to point out that I noticed as I was making the exclusive video about this radio that is visible only to my supporting channel members, I noticed that the box says TKW70, whilst the sticker says WK. W70. Now, this is not something that normal people would 
nor should care about, but this is definitely something that some people will likely rant on about for days at a time in the online forums or in comments on YouTube videos. On the top of the radio, you will find an on and off knob and volume control, a standard SMA male hole for the antenna so that you can use any standard SMA female antenna. On the side, you will find a push to talk trigger as well as two side buttons. I have no idea if these buttons are programmable or not because the manual does not say anything about them. So I am going to assume, assume that these buttons are not programmable. On the front, you will find a transmit and receive LED indicator light and all the buttons that one would expect to find on this type of radio. On the other side, you will find this waterproof door, which is very, very difficult to remove because there is nothing to grab onto with your fingernail. And the screw is not attached to the door, so the instant that you fully unscrew it, the tiny screw will jump onto the floor and roll directly beneath the refrigerator. As you can see with your very own photon collection pustules, the radio has a monochrome screen, which does very well in bright, direct sunlight. The radio has 199 memory slots for storing custom channels, and the radio comes with all of the NOAA weather channels pre program. This radio also has an automatic shutoff option so that if you forget to turn it off and leave it in your car or whatever, the radio will automatically turn off after either 4, 8, 16, or 24 hours. A feature that most of these low-cost radios do not have. Now before I go into any detail about what frequencies this radio can cover, allow me to take a break from all of this excitement so that I can point out and make it very very clear exactly what type of radio this is. Irregardless of the fact that the Amazon page for this radio says it is a ham radio and a GMRS radio, this is not an FCC Part 95 approved GMRS radio. My friend, this radio is something much, much more wonderful. This radio is an unlocked ham radio, meaning that this radio can transmit on ham, UHF, and VHF bands, and on the GMRS frequencies, and on the LMR frequencies, and on pretty much all frequencies from 100 my gigahertz all the way up to 630 my gigahertz, except for the hairband frequencies. This radio cannot transmit on the AM hairband. And even though the box says that you can only transmit at up to 580 my gigahertz, as just mentioned, mine was able to squirt RF electricities all the way up to 630 my gigahertz. At any rate, our overlords at the FCCs have decreed that to transmit on this radio, thou must haveth a ham radio license permission slip. You do not need any kind of a permission slip from the FCCs to purchase, own, or possess this radio. You only need the permission slip if you wish to push the transmit trigger. And as mentioned only a moment ago, because this is not an FCC Part 95 approved GMRS radio, if you were to use this radio to transmit on the GMRS frequencies or any frequencies outside of the ham or amateur radio bands, it would make the FCCs very, very sad. And by the way, this month marks the 175th anniversary of the formation of the FCCs. Although most of you probably do not know that way back then when it was originally formed, it was not known as the FCCs or the Federal Communications Commission. Nay, back then it was originally known as the Federal Airwaves Government Service. This radio has a frequency scan feature that will display the frequency and any tones or codes in use on that frequency by any nearby radios. And by nearby, I mean about 75 feet or so. And the radio also makes a fancy confirmation tone after it IDs the frequency, unlike many other lesser radios. And lest I forget, the radio has a new menu layout featuring fancy little emoticons 
These new menus are fairly intuitive, and I am sure that even the people that passed a 35-question multiple-choice test will eventually be able to figure it out. Probably. The Amazon page also says that this radio has a built-in noise cancellation feature, so let's test that. Using your very own ear holes, you can first see how the radio sounds from a quiet place. This is a test of the radio from a relatively quiet location. How does it sound? One, two, three, four, five. And now look very closely as you hear what the radio sounds like from a more ambiently dynamic place. This is a test from a very loud location. How does it sound? One, two, three, four, five. I was basically standing on top of my air conditioner with the fan blowing directly into the radio, and even though you could still hear the background noise, the smooth, sexy, and melodic tones of my voice still came through, and you were able to understand all of the words that were coming out my mouth. The box says IP67-68, which is the waterproofness rating, but I am not sure which it is. And of course, the useless user manual says nothing about it, but the sales ligature on the Amazon page says that the radio is IP68 rated, which means I can do this. And as you can see, even after that very traumatic experience, the radio still works just fine. The Amazon sales ligature also says that this radio can output up to 10 watts. But as you can see, this radio outputs nowhere near that. But let not your heart be troubled, because verily I say unto you that this radio still has all of the FARs that one would expect from an HT handheld radio of this type. This radio was able to reach my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house 13 miles away. No repeater direct simplex radio to radio. And he was able to hear the radio loud and clear using his base station radio. Unfortunately, I was forced to destroy that video footage because I do not have a ham radio operator's license. Just imagine all of the wailing and gnashing of teeth if I were to record myself illegally transmitting on a ham radio. But to be clear, this radio transmits just fine and it comes with plenty of FARs. This radio is not chirp compatible yet, but if you insist, you can use the free MaxTalk software, which you can download for free from their website. The software does not work properly on my Windows 11 for ARM running on my Mac through Parallels, but it did work correctly on my Windows 10 pile of junk. Unfortunately, I cannot show you video of that because every time I try to do anything as advanced and as complicated as a simple screen recording, Windows crashes. Because, well, you know why. But the programming software appears to be the standard, cheap, and as simple as possible software that many other low-cost radios use. However, let us not forget that a real certified ham radio operator would not need any software to program their radio because real hams are able to program their radios directly on the keypad. What I am saying to you right now is that no software is required to use this radio. And yes, this radio does have a Roger beep, but not just any Roger beep. First of all, the radio has a clear to talk tone, which is a little beep that you hear immediately after you first press the push to talk trigger. This tone lets you know that it is now time to start talking. Now, no doubt, some people will say that this type of clear-to-talk tone is stupid and unnecessary, and that may actually be true for some people. However, based on my extensive use of two-way radios whilst doing more than just sitting in the basement, for example, whilst off-roading or hiking, many people have a problem with beginning to talk before they actually press the talk trigger. So this clear-to-talk tone, when combined with a lot of training and therapy 
will hopefully allow these people to use the radio in a way that will allow everyone else to actually hear everything that they're saying. Then when you let go of the talk trigger, the Roger beep is not just some simple beep. Nay, the Roger beep is a beautiful, lovely sounding MDC type squawk that sounds like this. So basically this is a decent, fully unlocked waterproof radio with a very wide range of transmitting frequencies that many people will find very desirable. And it only costs $60 of monies. Affiliate link below.